she knows she's cool, she knows she's mad. She's wild, drinks tequila straight, she ain't shy. She'll try anything. Day two of 10 Pam South. So excited. Oh, my pass, my pass. I can't get anywhere without my pass. Gotta have my pass. All right, I got my pass, I'm ready to go. Oh wait, I need my microphone, pink microphone. Can't do any interviews without the pink microphone. Okay, I have the microphone, I have my pass. I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Ah, car keys. And welcome to day two of 10 Pan South. Tonight we are seeing Bo Bice, Daryl Burgess, Greg Crow, and AJ Masters. I only get to see one show tonight. I didn't get a chance to go to the early show. I'm actually a graduate student and I had a paper due. So, uh, but I did actually manage to work 10 Pan South into the paper. So that was kind of fun. And uh, my instructor watches this video blog. So um, thank you for watching the video blog, Dr. John. You're very cool. And please give me an A on my paper. So here we are at Douglas Corner, and oh look, there's a random stranger on the street. Hello, random stranger. Oh, hi. I did get to go see Bo Bice tonight. This was my uh, sidekick Susie's uh, one request for the week. And uh, who are you excited to see tonight? I'm very excited to see Bo Bice. <laughs> Uh, you know, Susie and I usually have different taste in men. Uh, she'll think somebody's cute and, and vice versa. I won't think they're cute. And, uh, but Bo, we both kind of agree on. He's, he's not bad looking. Why do you like him? Because um, he's really hot. I really like his voice. I actually do. I think he's actually got talent. The woman behind the camera this week is my dear friend Susie Kerr Wright. Um, we always have a lot of fun whenever we go out. Uh, we're both quirky personalities and have strange senses of humor, so we can always find fun in whatever it is that we manage to get ourselves into. Okay, we're dorks. <laughs> we better go inside or else we're not going to get a seat. Uh. They have a stage there, but they did the true round where it was um, four guys sitting uh, in a circle in the middle. They actually had this big lampshade that came down that was kind of cool and kind of shone. They were teasing each other, shining the lamp in each other's face, doing Quentin Tarantino um, quotes and jokes, so that was kind of funny too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed Bo. He's very cute and he's got a very interesting vocal style. And they all knew each other, so they were cutting up and playing each other's songs, and I think everything they played, uh, one of the other ones had co-written on it. So um, they had the guitar player from Matchbox 20, and they also had several other stand-in songwriters. I am here with Jada. Hi. <laughs> and Jada actually sang tonight. She got up and uh, interrupted the, what did you call it? The sausage party. The sausage party. <laughs> Jada, how do you know those crazy bunch? Um, I write with two out of the four of them. Oh, which ones? Greg Crow and Daryl Burgess. <laughs> those are some fun writing sessions. They are. There was entirely too much testosterone in that room. I wanted to let you guys know something. I don't know if I made this clear last night in, when I was talking about writer's rounds. Uh, writer's rounds are not just a Tin Pan South thing. They happen all year long here in Nashville. Um, you can go to the Bluebird, you can go to Douglas Corner, you can go to Mercy Lounge. There's lots of places around town any time of the week, any time of the year, that you can go hear writer's rounds. Uh, the thing that makes Tin Pan South special is that it's just a festival celebrating the writers and celebrating the writer's rounds. And it is a fundraiser for NSAI. NSAI stands for Nashville Songwriters Association International. Why am I telling you this? Because Ten Pan South is a fundraiser for NSAI and their legislative activities. NSAI is an organization that songwriters can belong to. Now, what makes it cool is any songwriter can belong to NSAI. They have um, NSAI for a peons like me. We're called wannabes. And uh, they have workshops. They have pitch to publisher nights. They have events. They have classes. They have um, conventions. Uh, there's just a lot of really great information if you are uh, an aspiring singer-songwriter to grow your craft and to be a better singer-songwriter through NSAI. 
So tomorrow night, the early show is Mark Broussard. He's also joined with Drew Ramsey, Shannon Sanders, and Tommy Sims. Mark Broussard has been to town multiple times since I have moved here, um, but I've always been either broke or had to work, uh, so I've never been able to see any of his shows, so I'm incredibly excited to see Mark. Um, he's just, he's got this fabulous voice, and uh, his song Home is very percussive and very cool, and um, one of my favorite songs, and so I'm definitely looking forward to hearing Mark. And then the second show is uh, Jim Peterick and the Ides of March. I'm your vehicle, baby! Jim Peterick has written ugh, just a plethora of songs. Uh, Eye of the Tiger, Take You Anywhere You Want to Go. And he also wrote um, The Search is Over by Survivor. I'm your vehicle, baby! And uh, the Ides of March, uh, their famous hit, uh, Vehicle. It's right now, I'm sure you know. I really love their song, Vehicle. Cause I love ya, I need ya, I want you, got to have ya, child. I will bring the mic, we'll have fun. Great God in heaven, you know I love you. Bye. She knows she's cool, she knows she's fine. She's wild, drinks tequila, stretch, she ain't shy. She'll try anything, she'll dance half naked on the phone with the boots on. You know, I actually really hate the color pink. I wanna be, I wanna be that girl.